wild. Flying the 16, so I fucking made sure I'm flying on the 15. <laughs> Philadelphia. Go on first. Well, go to the out first. <laughs> Good afternoon, chaps. Myself, Seb Webb, is joined in the commentary box by uh, the magician Chris Mellon. What should be an absolute cracking game here. Hang on, Chris is just a little bit tangled up here. Ready, are we? Here we go. Oh, uh, right, one minute, just gonna take this. Afternoon, Phil. There we go, boys. Underway and uh, pretty nice lead for Mick straight away. Here, these are yellows, I'm guessing. Pretty much drop ins. Yeah, great opportunity here for Mick. First rack. Big match, big match this is, lads. And this is exactly what you want. Which way do you see it going, Chris? Well, you've got a fancy Mick, uh, obviously. Yeah, he's I'm been playing the game a lot more than uh, over it, yes, Darren. Over got into that, hasn't he? And that's exactly what I was saying yesterday. It's so responsive. Yeah, I mean, I played on this against Sheppey, and to be honest, it bamboozled me. Uh, that other table in there uh, suits me better than what this one does. The yeah. white were all over shot. Yeah, this is what you've got to be very careful of, because what happens is when you're playing a ball with topspin, it doesn't seem to react as well. It'll kind of bounce back, um, as silly as that sounds. But when you're playing a shot with screw, it reacts so much. I mean, I played a shot yesterday. I played to stun the cue ball. I screwed back to uh, three feet. I think Mix have done that by a good tw 10 inch, hasn't he? Well, yeah, because uh, it could have landed short and still been on the other yeah. two yellows. Not sure if that passes into top corner. I think it goes past the red. He's been a little bit fortunate there. He was relying on luck. Couldn't yeah. Couldn't control the cue ball. It might sneak into the middle bag also. Let's look at this first shell. Maybe that goes. Must be tight. Yeah, I don't think it does. I think he'll be playing the young, long yellow past the two reds at, into the bottom left-hand corner. Obviously, he can sneak it into the middle bag, but he'll be losing white ball, won't he? He keeps looking to this middle bag for this first yellow. It must just be very tight. Oh, and he it's flicked just the red, the red well. isn't it? Wow. Maybe it wasn't as tight as we thought, so. <laughs> yeah, Mick might have just been milking it a little bit. Yeah, be delighted with this start, will Mick. Break and clearance. Yeah, it, we were pretty much straightforward, and he ended up making hard work, but still got him. Same, same end result. Yeah, he's been known for having a few flicks as young Michael in his eight ball pool career. Mm. 
playing a race to 11 here on the winner's side. I don't think you can get a bigger match than uh, what we're watching right now. No, it's, uh, it's a, well, it's great how it draws worked out. To be fair, there were some massive matches in the first round, and then you've got this to deal with. Uh, Daz is playing in a hoodie. I'm not sure why that is. It's not cold in venue. I know Mick's got uh, some under his, what do you call them, Chris, that Mick's wearing? Like a... Uh, like an under armour top, yeah. into, I think. It's not, it's not actually cold, it's quite... If out, it's a bit warm. But I think Mick's been uh, struggling with flow on here. Yeah, and so the, he says uh, the uh, reds are wild, wide open here. Yeah, I mean... What we'll see with Mick is he'll get rid of the four reds at the top of the table, come down, just probably play the red near the bottom cushion last. But he'll certainly be trying to get rid of the the four reds at the top end of the that table position first. Again. Yeah, he's okay, he's still got options. He can cut the red in the corner, he can cut the red in the middle, or play the long red. He's got quite a few options here. The problem with playing this long red is, again, because of the reaction on the cloth and the cue ball, he may end up scratching into the side pocket. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I mean, the both look pretty thin. If, it, if he pops this one, obviously, he could be coming up towards black as you're checking it. Yeah, wa watch this cushion, though, when it hits it, Seb, it's going to yeah, slide it's like gonna crazy. Slide, so I'm, I'm thinking he's going to maybe make contact with black here if he takes that one. Dragging it into red, maybe. Don't want that red surf. Oh, he's just missed it. Oh, what a flick. Yeah, what I mean a that's flick. That's worked out perfect, that has. He's had a right touch there. Got to be a little bit careful, though. No straightforward shot to get on the, the eight ball unless he leaves the bottom red, which I think he's going to do. We'll probably see Mick play the red in the left hand side pocket, red in the top corner. And then the other red in the side. A little bit tricky. That's a good shot there from Mick, really clever shot there to move the eight ball. A lot of players wouldn't have even thought of that. Makes the clearance so much easier now when he's playing the, the tough red into the centre pocket. Can just roll that in for the eight ball. And he's going to go side, side, top left hand corner and then the red in the middle last. Unless he plays for it now, I, I wouldn't play for it now. Not unless he's got the perfect angle. Perfect angle. Good shot there from Mick. Yeah, sorry about that, lads. Uh, just sort of trying to sort some out. People keep nagging me. Two dishes from Mick then. Uh, Dad's not had his chance to get his hand on the table at the minute. minute. No, there's nothing I can do about it, you know, you just gotta bide your time and wait for your chance. Yeah. And sometime sometimes when you're playing these chances don't even come. No, I mean I, I played on this and I w Andy was saying it's twelve years since Yeah. Tommy's just said it twelve years since these two played each other in competition, Chris. Yeah, I think it was actually the world final. Oh wow. There you go. We've got him back on the base here at Murphy's Doncaster. <laughs> Making it all happen. Daz is just having a little joke with Mick there. He's a funny character. If you mind the game, he's just trying to gain his head, you reckon, Chris? Put a little bit of doubt into mm, it. Yeah, he's too experienced for that, is Mick? Yeah, he probably just said White's going in right middle or something. It's a cracking bracket control, White, but he's not meant a ball. 
Chance for Daz to respond now. Yeah, and first glance, the yellows look great. I think uh, this will be the first time Daz has played a shot on this table apart from Brex, so it'll be interesting to see how he controls it. Because to be fair, Mick ran out of position quite a few times during them first two finishes. Yeah, just watch when he plays a screw back, because this is going to react like Obviously crazy. He's just moving red here, isn't he, Chris? Yeah, you'd think so. Well, maybe wrong angle for that shot. I'm very surprised he's played that shot. Obviously, he's going to move. He's got to move it here, hasn't he? Oh, oh that's a good shot there from Daz. Really nice shot. Fancy to take these away now. Oh, ooh, that's a bad miss. That looked unmissable, didn't it? Didn't expect that. Yeah, first two shots is. Got the frame at his mercy, and uh, I think he just took it for granted. Yeah, I think he would just try to get an angle, try to nip the pocket slightly. Mick's gonna, he's gonna take these out. Yeah, don't don't be surprised if Mick doesn't miss a ball in this match. Yeah, I, mean, I watched a bit of his match yesterday with Dave Sanderson. I had that, I didn't really know. Uh, I don't think Mick know him either, and uh, to be fair, Dave, uh, I think it was 6-3 down, he went on 7-3 down, and 8-7 up, and he had a golden chance to go 9-7, I think Mick had, uh, didn't look to be playing well at all, but Dave let him back in, and uh, he just managed to get himself over the line at the end. Yeah, Mick, Mick, Mick don't look too happy, but I don't see what the problem is, personally. No, he's... Uh, all he's got to do is pot this, leave the cue ball on the cushion which in turn leaves a nice angle on the red down the red cushion for the other red in the same pocket and the red in the left hand corner comes the side cushion for the black. Yeah, he might just be wanting to keep Daz in his seat for as long as possible. Well, he's, he's known for shaking his head even when he's perfect. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Phil he's, he's got some mannerisms, mannerisms, hasn't he? I think all football players have to be fair. And he's still shaking his head and looking yeah. up to the sky like the old John Parrott. <laughs> Greg Tights just says, I love the way Mick is suited and booted, like he's in the crucible and Darren looks like he's playing in the pub. What, Adam, what do you reckon to playing in an hoodie, Chris? No, I've never done it and never will. No, I, I, just don't, I don't feel right. I don't feel like I'm playing in a proper match. He must have just come from uh, fishing. <laughs> like his old fishing does, does. Oh, doesn't want to be too straight on this. Just look at be. the monitor. I reckon he can, uh, he's all right here. He's going to screw it back with a lot of side, maybe. Oh, he's playing for the centre pocket. Oh, no, he's playing for the top corner. Oh, it's massive, or is isn't it? The it? It's got to go top bag. It's absolutely huge, isn't it? Well, you can't miss it in the centre either, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, and Daz using the old uh, Reve Predator Revo break cue. I think he's the only person who plays the uh, English pool that actually breaks with one of them yeah, cues. I, I haven't seen it myself before, until Daz getting back. It's five grand for the winner, Corey. Just have a look at the scores, lads, see what's going off. Needs a good break now, does Daz. It's uh, utmost importance that he uh, gets a rack as soon as possible. Yeah, he wants a ball, doesn't he? Obviously missing that ball at last frame, well. Pretty bad for Daz. Oh, he's oh dear. Oh, it's, uh, you can say that's unlucky, but that isn't unlucky. It's uh, didn't get hit by any ball. He went straight yeah, into the corner. Yeah, just top straight in, didn't it? I was watching Daz yesterday. He played a uh, mate of mine, Ricky Jones, and he was three 0 down. And it just looked like he wanted to get out of the arena. He didn't look interested at all. And Ricky made a couple of mistakes. It should have been five 0 and it was four one. Well, I'll be very surprised if Mick just found his way back in. You. Yeah, Mick's I'll not going to let him off like Ricky did. If he doesn't go for reds. Uh, just batch cast, I'm not uh, speaking about that, mate. We had enough discussion on that yesterday. Flick the red off the cushion on the left hand side. Put it over the centre pocket. Get rid of the three reds down this bottom end of the table, and it's ABC from there. I don't think he's seen it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's leaving the. Uh, he's going to put yellow on to the side, yeah, right? That's not it? a bad shot either. He's bringing the red off, but also putting the yellow surf. Yeah, Same shot I was talking about, basically, just bringing the ball into the open. 
And he's going to go he's, red. He's up in that corner, pocket up, thought red, should he want to put it in that corner where it's yellow or blocking it? The problem with the uh, the black ball rules is, obviously, if you've been playing world rules all your life, you tend to overthink when you do get a uh, yeah. ball in hand, rather than just get on with it. and Because most times you'd clear it with one shot anywhere. Yeah, I mean, that, to be honest, that's what I do all the time when I get two shots. When somebody sours, it just fries me head thinking, how do I waste this shot? I mean, I played him a match this morning, he soured twice, and I lost frame both times, it put a ball. It just fries me head, I just need to... I think we're all these changing, obviously, so it's just one shot. You shouldn't be getting two shots if you get kicked in off or something like that. Obviously, Daz didn't get kicked in off, but there is some good breaks when you break off a perfect break and you can get booted in off. I think two shots is... Uh, oh, look at the reaction on that. It's so responsive, this table. It. So responsive. One of the guys is uh, asking if it's cold in the arena. Well, no, it's no, absolutely it's red hot. Yeah, it is. I mean, they'll be hotter than what we are because they're playing on table. So, I won't be surprised if Daz doesn't take that audio off at some stage. It's probably cold because he's not really had a shot, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But this is a uh, mixed trait. He uh, he doesn't make many mistakes, and his cue ball is as good as, as anybody. Oh, that's apart from shot, that. is it? That's a terrible shot there. Looks like he's banged straight here as well. Commentator's curse. Can he force it off side cush? Yeah, he's forced it off a nice shot. Good shot, that. Could have gone wrong. In a, in a breath. Player's not uh, the player's not here, but he's spot him. It don't matter, does he? He pots from anywhere. Well, he, pot, he pots from anywhere, but he's... Uh, his cue ball control, yeah, right it's enormous it's second is, to none, is, isn't is it? It's the best I've ever seen. I mean, this table's really responsive, so he might be struggling a little bit, but he's not massively out of shape yet. And 4 0 to Mick, and uh, Darren needs to get a frame very quickly. If yeah, you, you don't fancy Mick to miss it, do you? Well, if it was winner breaks, then. You could say that Darren can get back into this match, but for me, yeah. I mean, the way Mick breaks as well. I mean, look at this break here. Has he come made one? dry. Oh, he's come up dry. It's not an easy leave, look no, at it. This is what happens, though. I mean, Daz made that silly error, and kind of the pool gods have turned against him. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing first shot, plant and try, get yellow out. Yeah, he's got to play that. But I'm um, just looking, is it guaranteed to drop if he does play that? Always tried to. Oh wow! And he's just left all the reds yeah. hanging. I mean, it look, didn't look like it would have given me that one. Thought uh, yeah, it would have been easy for plant, but obviously Dad thought he could squeeze it by. <laughs> Somebody's just asking me there, what's it like playing Dunster? Does he get to you? <laughs> no, he, he doesn't get to me. I'm. Uh, I've got a lot of experience. He's a great player. He's uh, Liam, really, really good player. Obviously, he's a little bit slower than most people, but, you know, that's the way he plays, and, you know, that's what you have to deal it's with sometimes. He's solid, isn't he, Chris? Very good, brilliant player. You know, there's no... You can't there's no the flaws game. in his game. Even his B game, I mean, he's got a very good B game when he, when he wants to turn to fudge mode and tap wrecks and stuff, but he's, he's better than that, to tap wreck. I think he might have got rid of that tactic now, but... I guess we'll find out if he gets... Uh, and somebody takes him close. This is going to be five Ooh, now. The cue ball just did a little, little turn then when he went over the spot. Needs a stun run. Oh, that's a bad shot. That's a bad shot, but he's been fortunate, you know, because he's dead straight on the red in the middle. And he can screw it straight back for the bad red on the yeah, top cushion. Looks it. When I was looking at monitor, he looks uh, just got a judge drag back on this more than alt. Well, it's 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 all but under screw. You driver over screw this, obviously. Yeah, you've got to over screw the shot. You don't want to be straight on the red. Don't want to be straight. Be straight. Be Mind might, you, that's just do you know he might just have an angle? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm looking at monitor and he's got an angle. He just top this off rail. I'm guessing. I was going to stun it. I was trying to get close to it. Yeah, 
Ableton's trying, there's no doubt about it. I mean, that's, that's a bit of a silly question. Well, really. so that he's not trying? I mean, he's paid £200 for him. Do you, do you think he wouldn't be trying? <laughs> he's not here just to chuck 200 away and... He's, he's missed a silly shot into the top, top left-hand corner earlier. And that's all he's done, hasn't he? And other than that, I mean, fair enough that rack, but it, there wasn't much he could do. He had to smash that. Yeah, the ball's landed on from mixed break, so he's just tried to make it happen first shot and maybe force it when... But that's what happens but when, when you you're chasing a game. You do make these errors. Yeah, and when you make mistakes, the, the pull gods punish you. I'm probably the worst chaser in the world. If I'm behind, I'm chasing every possible ball into every pocket. I think it could make us... Jordan, go away. Mark just saying he's the best in the world right now for me. Well... Totally agree. Does his cue balls? He's losing the cue ball a lot. Oh, he's scratched again. Middle bag. I mean, to be honest, he just dodges the left middle and it's come across to the right. He's, he's very unlucky that that scratch. But yeah, I it mean, was all over. But I mean, to his roll cue ball, like his that. cue ball on the break is all over the shop. You, the the key is to control the cue ball, and unfortunately for Daz, I the cue balls went everywhere. If you notice Liam Dunster's break, uh, he seems to have. It seems to come back to the right rail after the middle pocket, pocket more more times than it don't. I know he had a few dodgy ones yesterday. We were lucky not to go in off. He kept it in uh, middle knuckle. So you're going to talk us through uh, your game with Jordan then, Seb? <laughs> All 43 minutes of it. It was, it was pretty much like this. He slowed down as Jordan. 43 I mean, minutes. You can see this going the same way. You really can at a minute, because Mick's going to make this 6-0, and then he's going to be breaking for 7-0. <coughs> and that's pretty much what Shepard's done to me. He's just gone 7-0. Well, I've, I've missed one skill shot. Well, he can do that. And can, I'm 7-0 down. Jordan. See, another class player in the field. He's definitely interested. He played in his hoodie yesterday, and he, he made a great comeback against Ricky Jones. So he's, he, I think he was 7-4 down, and then he just turned it on. He's definitely interested. I'm seeing a replica of Mellon's game yesterday here. No, because I didn't miss a straight ball into the <laughs> corner, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, no excuses. I missed a few chances yeah, in you, my you match. Yeah, you did break great. Uh, break great no, I str struggled with the break. Sometimes yeah. it's like that, though, you yeah. know. Some days I could, I could play Liam today and it could all go my way. Yeah, it's a, it's a different... Nobody's mastered this break that from what I've seen. There's not one person that can guarantee a good way to make a ball for how many years they've been trying so it's just I think it's just down to there and that timing on that break off obviously Mick looks like he's absolutely crunching it at the minute he's breaking from left hand side and taking the white to the right hand side which I've noticed yeah 6-0 in 20 minutes it's been rapid fire to be fair yeah, <laughs> He can't do much about it. You know, he's, not, he's not done that great deal. Well, fair enough, he's missed a couple of chances, but but this is the standard, fellas. This is what you've got to do if you want to become the best player in the world. Yeah, if you just watch Mick's brekkie, he's breaking from left. He's taking white to the right-hand side of the table. That time, bang down the middle, wasn't it? It's another great break. Jesus. How did you miss them? Look at these yellows. No wonder he's a five-time world champion with them breaks. Vic's just pulled a face. <laughs> I think he feels a little bit... You know, it, when it gets to the scoreline, I don't know if you will ever feel like it, but you just feel a little bit guilty. I feel like smashing him right head with you, if it was me. Don't worry about it. I mean, Darren could do this to Mick as well. You know, there's there's no two ways about it. You just got to get the opportunities and uh, take them. Oh, this has bounced a little bit too far. Up. I think he wanted to be on the one in the middle, but he'll take it. Yeah, next up, quarter past two. You're probably going to have a little bit of a break if this carries on like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mick just having a joke with his uh, 
We've got to be very quiet because we're, we're only bit, about... Are we a little bit loud, are we? We're we're him off. You wouldn't know it. We're only about 10 feet away from him. Yeah, I've got a pretty heavy voice, to be fair. It gets heavier the more beer that goes down it as well. <laughs> so I might be pretty loud tonight at some point. So I, w I definitely won't be in the commentary box for any matches tonight. Chris says he might be having a few beers as well, so... Look out, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be careful then over do this one if he grabs the white too much. He has done. That's uh, what we were saying. Yeah, well, I just had a feeling you were going to do that. Then does it still clip? <laughs> He's having a laugh as well with Darren here. Well, it looks thin. It might still clip in. I, I, I'm not convinced he can cut that in. Is, is it may cut in, but I tell you what, he cannot control a cue ball. No, he'll, he'll just be relying on luck. I think it may, may even come back down and cannot red. If it does clip in. Very thin though. Looks easy on monitor to be fair. Yeah. But it's, I don't think it's that. It's, it's, very, it's very thin is this. He's going to try and cannon the red off the bottom because Perfect. No, I didn't play that, Chris. He didn't play that? <laughs> no, he's just apologising. Well, I cannot believe he didn't play that. Yeah, I think he was wanting to come uh, up and down. <laughs> so it's happening because you bottom. Well, I'd have definitely been playing that if I could play yeah. that. <laughs> well, he's played it perfect. <laughs> but he did apologise to Daz after that. He's probably doing that just to try and wind Daz up. So, where about can I find out what time all the stream games for today? Well, I've just told you, pal. Quarter past two, Ryan David, Michael Rhodes. And we haven't picked any after that because obviously we don't know who's going to get through. So we might put a couple of matches on out at loser's side. Well, we're have not, a not sure what they'll be yet. Let's have a little look at... Darren's break, because uh, last few breaks it's been all over the place. Oh well, uh, the bet's not looking great again. Raybone's seen all down, he's in my bet. Oh, good break there from Darren. And I tell you what, he's when so rains, unlucky that he hasn't made the ball there. And look at the reds. When it rains, it pours. This could be 11 0, folks. <laughs> Darren's, <laughs> Darren's just laughing there in the background. I mean, it's looking like 9 0 at minute because Mick's going to mop these up and then he'll break it next. It's unbelievable, isn't it? What, be, what can happen in this pool game? <laughs> Once again. Oh, what's he done there? What has he it's done there? I'm sorry for this. He's just going to tuck up. Cheers, Rob Chambers. Love you, mucker. And now Daz has got a chance. Can Not he much he can do, but he can maybe he can double the yellow over the corner where all his reds are. <laughs> I'm, I was thinking uh, he's going to want to attack, any Chris? He's well going to be dying to find a pot What can he do, here. though? What can he do? He's got a double the yellow over it, it's all he can do, I think. Do you, I don't think he wants to let Mick get back to the table. I don't, I don't think he's got a choice from here. Well, I don't, I don't think it yellow that is close to. Can he double it into this top pocket near black? If you know what I'm on about. Some vodka in that orange you're drinking there, Seb. He's, he's got to look to attack, he can't be looking for a safety. Oh, the yellow. This, even, this, I mean, is, this, a this is a This is odds against big time. Didn't have much. I mean, obviously he wants to go out guns blazing. He don't want to be trying to cover the pocket and then just let Mick clear up, which he probably would have done anyway. No, he couldn't do much there. He was in trouble. Can a table be too responsive when you cough on cushions, or do the top players prefer it and just adapt to the table? Well, I, I personally don't like it as responsive as it, as it is. What about that table you just played on, Chris? Is that pretty much the same? That were all right. No, yeah. that were fine. It, this one's just unbelievable how responsive it is. The mix played a bad shot there. Yeah, he don't, don't look to be on the ball. Well, for me, he's got to go side cushion and the red that's at the top of the table knock it over the corner. I, I don't think he can do anything else from here. Do you, I think uh, maybe a little bit of guilt starting to creep in with Mick. Obviously 7 and low, but he'll not want to beat Daz 11 nil, will he, Chris? Will you what? <laughs> <laughs> he 
He doesn't let you off, doesn't Mick. Whether you're his friend or not, he wants to beat you by the biggest <laughs> margin possible. I think he's it. Is it? What? Not sure what. Like, not sure what he's doing here. Well, that's a great shot. That he's is a brilliant his, shot. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll take that back. He definitely wants to win 11 0. What he doesn't want. No, he's for it to does. be a total snooker. No, he can pot it. He oh, can, can he pot it? it? Yeah. Well, Daz has got a chance now then. I think we'll see Daz get his first frame up board here. Well, he should do. The comeback's got to start somewhere. I know it's highly unlikely, but. That's a good shot there Steve again. Steve Davis were 8 0 up in the final, you know. And the guy with four eyes came back, Dennis Taylor. Yeah, but that's snooker, Seb. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to work for it, snooker. Where pull, you can be you can be given it. Yeah, but it's that, if you think about it, Daz is still in a great position here. At 7 0. 8 0, you won't fancy it job, would you? Well, I won't fancy it job anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Swap slates for tomorrow, Seb. The cloth on this table is uh, Ainsworth match. Oh, this has gone too far. I think no, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Just looks a little bit. Can he just hold on that red? Yeah, I think he can flick the red. Doesn't want to flick it the wrong side of it though. It's perfect. <coughs> Is he going to win his first game? Yes. He's the back. Fist bump. He's back. The big fist bump there came. The comeback is on. <coughs> yeah, he, he likes to have a little laugh and a joke, does Daz, when he's playing. He, he knows deep down that obviously Mick's, Mick's the favourite, there's no doubt about it. But, I mean, ten years ago, there w there's nothing in it. It's a 50-50 match. Obviously, Darren's been playing a lot of the American pool and not been doing much else, really. So... Uh, you have to put Mick favourite because he's his only players. Yeah, I think he uh, He opened the page to 15 with Bookmaker and a few of them have smashed him in and next minute it was 2 to 5, then 4 to 11. So obviously the people at club obviously think he's a decent bet in this match. And at minute, you have to say it's look looking at, likely. Look at the state on these. How can you possibly, possibly miss? I, yeah, mean, I he think he'll he he get head back on it now as well. He could turn around to Darren now and say, which ones do you want me to go for? And Darren would probably say yellows. <laughs> he wants to get out of here. Uh, never mind the pool. Melon, did you watch Super Leeds I last did night? watch the Super Leeds PC store. Yeah, I missed game, but I fancied him to beat Derby last night. But well, I tell you what, they played as good as I've seen them play all year. But I'm guessing they're still top at league, aren't they? Oh, of course. I we don't are. follow it that much. Championship, but I'm not. I can see Leeds at the top. I always want them to get back in Premiership. It's where they belong, to be fair. Yeah, the the the, the following Leeds have is just unbelievable. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a lot of mates who are Leeds fans. They got games and that, and uh, they want to get back in Premiership. Go to Old Trafford and smash Man U up. So, Man U fans, get ready. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Man U and Tottenham. The yeah. first big test since uh, Solskjaer has come back. This is perfect, this. Just don't want to be straight. I think he is. No, he's got an angle. If he's shaking his head, he's perfect. <laughs> he's looking at long, so he might have to leave this long, you know. No, oh, yeah. I told you. <laughs> and if he kisses that eight ball, it's even better. If he's on that, that is... Absolutely plum. He's just pulling his tongue out there. Just, I think he's got rid of this cold, hasn't he? I apologise. It's Sergeant Stowe of Leeds Police Station. Is it? Yes, he's a sergeant. Oh. Did you not know that, Seb? <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, so you better be careful what yeah, you're saying. I better be very careful what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyway, Mick's just got three tappings for 8-1. I think this is another break condition, it? I, I've lost count of how many he's had now. He seems to have dished every time he's made a ball. I think he's broken dish nearly every rack, to be honest. Yeah, I can't remember him missing off his own break. Got to be a little bit careful here. That's where the table definitely helps. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's perfect there, isn't it? Yeah, he's going to pop the yellow and go but two cushions for the black in the same pocket. Yeah, I'm going to say, you don't want to go playing ball because he could fall behind red on left-hand side, so he's just gone two rails. He's under it, but he's OK. Maybe he's got a table booked at the restaurant, Sam. So the speed he's going through these racks. Yeah, he ain't got that. Nice one there, Sergeant Stowe. I'm safe with him, so happy days. To help my sister unpack the suitcase. More chance of you winning a pool match than Leeds smashing Man United. I do seem to remember Jermaine Betford coming to Old Trafford and sending United out of the FA Cup not long ago. Where's the white room this time? Oh, good break. Really good yeah, break. Yeah, he controlled that a lot better that time. Wow. Wow. He had four reds. <laughs> the Tell you what, you can't see a red there. That is so unlucky. I mean, yellow, yellows, yellows are easy. Yellows are still easy. I'd, I, I, I'd definitely go reds if I could. I mean, y yeah, you can get he's it. Well, he's got to be careful, though. I'd, I'd tell you what, Seb, I'd actually go yellows. I wouldn't go reds. Because he's got to get perfect on the red yeah, in the right hand centre. Just showing his overhead camera, you can get it quite clearly. This is, needs to cannon that yellow. Perfect. Absolutely, Peter, perfect. I mean, what bags are putting it black in here, Chris? Bottom right as we're looking. He's, he's got, he's not, uh, he can't get good on this next red. He's, he's going to put it either dead weight or with a bit of pace and cannon the yellow. Good shot there from Daz. That wasn't as easy as it looked. Yeah. I'm just I'm guessing he's just gonna drop this in now and put back into it. If it goes that is, I'm guessing it goes. Yeah, it definitely goes. Gotta be careful though, just drop it in, roll it dead weight. Good break and run there from Daz. There's a few comments in between frames, isn't there? Mm. All I can see is Mikkel's biggest fan keeps popping up in messages. Look at him, every time Mick wins a frame, he's putting love on him. Is that Kirky, is yeah. it? Yeah, Mikkel's biggest fan, without a doubt. Yeah, oh, Jacob's been sending him photos of Mick. Jacob, sorry. It's the biggest anti United fan, aren't they? Yeah. It's not that I'm anti United, I just. Uh, just hate them. I don't hate them. I like obviously, when they've got decent players, I'll watch them. Like I used to watch them when Ibrahimovic were playing. Look at this break here. Every single break, they've come out. Mary Ploppins. I mean, it just shows you that, uh, obviously, this is just using triangles, Chris. Uh, this probably is probably going to favour Mick, because he's breaking them like a dream. Whereas others, they're not guaranteed a ball. Whereas with Shark, like, more times than not, you made a ball, didn't you? Yeah, the uh, the shark rap for me, it, it needs to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not a big fan myself. It, it's a, it's a great thing, uh, you know. I'm not knocking the design or the idea or anything, but it's just a pain when you break yeah. and it's sat there and you've got to move it. I mean, fair enough to use it in American pool, but the table's bigger. Yeah. So there's less balls going. I mean, if that were on table now, you'd probably have to get referee into come and shift about three balls to get rid of rack. Well, the thing is, Seb, you play nine ball, so there's only nine balls that can go on it. Yeah. You play an eight ball, there's 15 balls that can go on it. Plus the white, so... Yeah, so 16. So, yeah. Mick's going to want to land on this red on the bottom into the left-hand corner. This is going to be another break and dish, this, Chris. Yeah, he's got to be careful here. This isn't easy, this. This is not easy. And that's why he's wanting to land. And in doing, so, camp, in doing so, he can actually play for two reds. He can play for the red to the right of the black in the left hand centre or the red in the corner. This is perfect. And he's absolutely perfect. He's on the one in the middle, it's it's delightful. Yeah, he is. He's on, he's on well, I think he's on all three, but obviously he's going to take it middle bag, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to take the one in the middle without a doubt. And screw back off the cushion. Oh, he could stun it and leave the angle. Well, he, yeah. couldn't, he couldn't pick the cue ball up and pose it any better. I haven't counted, but ten, this is a six break, I do believe. That might be six break and dishes he's had then. I can't remember him failing from his break. Somebody out there will probably know how many he's got. 
that's not his best shot, but you can't see him missing this one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid this block is simply too good. Mm. And you wouldn't believe he doesn't practice. When well, he turned up yesterday, he says, oh, I'm not the favourite for this event. I've been badly for the last few days. He's got some lumps upon him, some lockets and everything, tissue. Now he looks a totally different guy. Mixed, dis mixed dished 16 so far this game. I'd like to know what kind Kirky. of drugs you've been taking because there's only one nine wrapped, so I don't <laughs> know where's he got 16 from, I'll never know. God. I mean, uh, oof, a massive break. Darren's hitting him too good. But look at the difference, look, look how they've come out. I mean, the yellows are there, but they're not like, you know, he's got a cannonballs and... It just seems like when Darren's at the table, he's got so much work to do where yeah. when Mix at the table, it seems like it's ABC, but that's that's because it makes it look like that as well. 1,300 viewers at minute, Chris. It's not bad on a Saturday afternoon, 12.45, that is it. Not bad. It's because of listening to you, pal, the most wow. electrifying man in the L of eight ball pool. Oh, that's right. Uh, I'd just like to mention, lads, I did with my match this morning. 8-4, uh, so I am still in the event, not just uh, an organiser for the rest of the weekend. Chris also won 8-3, uh, so yeah, we're going to be electrifying some more. Good shot there from Daz, needs to be careful though now. Obviously that yellow below, uh, at side of black, I'm guessing that's the problem ball when Daz is looking at this finish. Goes, it goes in the middle of the field. He must be playing a bit now, Chris. Just don't want to go too far here, does he? He's gone too far, because uh, yeah, what no, I wanted to do was pop the yellow in the middle and just nudge the, the black. You have to drag this off the tail and come back with a bit of side. Oh, no, I could hold it easy. Yeah, it's OK. Yeah. Got to be careful, because this is definitely going to bounce off this bottom rail. Yeah, I mean, I'd I would have preferred to come back off the uh, bottom rail than get a better angle on it. I don't think you can hold this. Elliot Slesser, do I reckon Mikkel is the best ever at this game? Yes, oh, this is a stinking result. 100% in my opinion is the greatest player that's ever played the game. That's a stinking result for Daz. This is a tough shot now to get on black as well. Now we're a mile off on it. It won't be easy that to land, uh, to land like that were a little bit unfortunate to be honest. Hi Charlie Hawk, uh, good evening in Australia pal. Yeah, well, Mick is the man to be, and he's, he's going to want to prove a point, obviously, because he did manage to win one of the five events, uh, the players' pool events. He didn't win none of them, so he'll be hard to prove a point this weekend. I mean, a lot of people are saying, his goat is uh, Dunster the new goat. So a bit early to be saying that, I think. Uh, you know, talking about Mikkel, I think some people are losing plot a little bit, to be honest, with that statement. Well, with all due respect, there's simply no comparison. No, not at many. I mean, you've got to do it. For, you can't just have one good year, can you, Chris? You've got to sustain it. And when you do have a good year, then there's like you've got like people want to beat you even more. I mean, that's what Mick's had to deal with for God knows how many years now. Well, Dunster's a young lad, and he's got many years ahead of him. Yeah. And obviously, he's won a lot of tournaments, so you know he's certainly got a chance. He's gonna he's gonna win lords, but I mean, it's a bit early to be saying. In the same sentence, in all due respect. Still a great player, though, is Liam. But this has been absolutely flawless from Mick. I don't think it would have made a difference who we were playing today when we are. just Brock. Well, I think he's Brock, Brock and Dish 6. And yeah, but Daz, Daz has missed three chances, so if you took them three off Mick and put them onto Daz, that would now miss 7-5. Seven seven five. So, you know... He still have a chance to win this match. Even though, like you said, Mick, Mick's had six Brecon dishes, hasn't he? Number, number seven coming up. Oh, well, yeah. That, you'd back it, to be honest. I don't know what odds would be on somebody to Brecon dish. What, what, what would you think that would be, Chris, if Bucky did it? To Brecon dish every rack? Mick and, like, what price would you say is to Brecon dish now? It's probably favourite. Four to six, probably. Just depends if he pots one. Yeah, yeah obviously when you see that ball go down, you're thinking, oh, four to six is a cracking bit. He's just gone to one to ten on. 
you think so? Yeah, the yellows are all there. If that yellow goes off the back of the red, they're definitely there. I'm just looking at monitor and I don't think it does. Looks... Oh, it might do. It might do, you know. Even if it doesn't... I'm saying reds are not even too bad here. Yeah, the reds are alright. Reds would be better if you could pop them for sure. First tough, obviously, he's got a big bag, but he could tie the red up with a yellow, but... Maybe you, say a little. you say it's a big bag, I'm not convinced it's that big. Oh, he's tied it up. I don't know, I, I think that still goes. Obviously, I know what he's thinking, that red's not going to go past it, maybe. He can play the red off the uh, off the other red. Yeah, this he's going to have to work for this finish more than he has for his last few. Yeah, one of the guys was just saying, uh, who do you fancy for the Masters at Snooker? Well, there's only one person you can fancy, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, that's run his tournament all day long. Well, he's not a to win it, but of it years, he's made that that event with that crowd that he gets. If he turns up, it's simply game over. It's hard to beat Ronnie at Masters for any player out there. Especially with the way he's playing at the minute. It's getting better, isn't it? Well, I think he's out to prove a point. I think he stated, actually, on Twitter the other day that he might play till he's 50, so... Uh, God help the guys who were still on the tour. Yeah, I mean, the uh, thing is, he's fit, he's very fit guy, in he? So, I know a lot of players have deteriorated as they're getting older, but when you keep yourself as fit as what Ronnie does, you can see him going on till he's 50. Yeah, he runs, uh, he runs 10k every single day, does Ronnie? I mean, that, that takes some doing. <laughs> I, I couldn't run 100 metres. Yeah, apparently somebody just said that Boyle and McAllister had uh, it were eleven ten last night. There were nineteen dishes. Oh, I can believe it. I can believe it. Two class players again. Yeah. I've never seen that game. I never actually. S I saw one shot in the whole game, and that one made Mark Boyle's red at ten apiece down the rail. Gone a bit too far. Oh, He's gone actually a lot too far. The you'd think you would think you would lose it match with that reaction. Well, the key with that shot is he needed to uh, under it the shot rather than over it the shot. Yeah. He's still okay. He can he can drop the red in. He's having a whinge, but he can drop the red and then play the red off the red. He wants to make it a perfect seven, doesn't he? And that's what he's uh, annoyed about. He can still do it. Don't worry about that, yeah. Seb. I think that's what's actually in his head. Is don't he don't want to fail on a break, does he? Well, what what he's worried about is he wanted to play the red off the red, but he doesn't want to do it last for the simple reason that he may not land on it. Oh, it's a nice little cannon, that I think. Just I, short. I think he can put this enough red. And red's going to go to the side rail. If he if he plays it off the red, he needs the red then to hit the yellow full in the face off the cushion. And he'll, he'll be on it. I don't think it. he'll play that hard, Chris. I think he's just going to slide it and flick the red. Looking at camera angle, that looks to me like he slides it in off red and red goes to the side rail. Obviously, white's going to come through the gap. Yeah, there's a chance of that as well. I think that's a... No, he's looking at bringing the red out. I think it's perfect, this. He's going he's gonna to play this red off the rail, off the red, into the corner, and screw the cue ball and try and play for the red in the middle. Really? That he's knocking out. I honestly, looking at that monitor, I think it's absolutely perfect to do in off the red and leave the red to the side. He's got to play that shot, surely. He might be playing your shot, Seb. He's got to be careful. He's watched middle bag as well if he gets too much side on. Yeah. Oh, what a shot. Perfect. What a shot he's he, played he there. He wanted it so badly, didn't he, to make it seven dishes yeah. from seven breaks. Could see how much he wanted that. There's going to be no mistake from here. This has been an absolute. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Is he feeling oh. it a bit? Because he wants this perfect seven, you reckon? I but think can he we is. Can we see a twitch here? More chance of meeting <laughs> Moses than him twitching this. It's been an absolute pleasure to commentate on this, lads. Brilliant. It's been an absolute pleasure, that has. Well done to me. Absolutely brilliant. No other word for it. Yeah, unlucky to Daz. He just never even got a chance, to be fair. I, mean, I missed a couple, but I mean, Mick's just played absolute flawless there all match. Yeah, he struggled a little bit, did Mick there. I can't, I can't uh, remember him missing a ball, to be honest. No, I don't think he did. So, yeah. Quarter past two now, lads. There'll be, be, be a bit of a break on this table because Mick's just pretty much absolutely steamrolled his way through that. 
Fantastic. All right, we'll see you next time, yeah. folks. Thanks for listening, lads. We'll see you again shortly.